beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly signed readings for $10 per month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month, all right? Based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. Without further ado, you'll find the link to my Patreon down in my description box below. Or you can join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Alright, let us tap in and find out. Why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? So we have the seven of pentacles. 
all this person tends to reflect on with the seven of pentacles all they tend to think about is um you and the time and energy that you guys exchanged whether you and this person you know you spent a lot of quality time used to hang out a lot whether you and this person had a lot of intimate moments or shared a lot of intimacy or you know whether you and this person had a lot of conversations whether they were deep or platonic it's like this person is reflecting on all of that they thinking on they thinking about all of that all right and i feel like thinking about all of that puts this person in a sunken place where they sort of shut the rest of the world out okay like as soon as they get into the state of being of all these thoughts about all these different things that we've established here it sort of puts them in a place of like they don't want to talk to anyone the state of being of them not wanting to speak to no one they don't want to be with anyone you know they just want to be alone and reflect and think even more so they dwell a lot all right this is somebody that dwells a lot okay they don't know how to let things go or let things roll off their shoulders i feel like this is somebody that struggles with that you know they they tend to hold on to things even when it's not what they think or they've already assumed something and they're just holding on to it even if it's not based on truth you know this person they're just that type of a person here look at that death to the world this is like a complete it's like a a cycle a connection a relationship that will never ever 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 reopen and i'm being called to look at it both ways the death and the world came out upright and if i look at it in the reversed format of it it would be the opposite it would be like this never ending cycle between two people that always it's like a connection that always goes back and forth break up make up tit for tat mind games um things being said things being done like back and forth it just never ends it never the cycle never ends the, the the relationship never dies whatever happens it just keeps happening but these energies showing up upright like this it's a huge red flag here all right about this person it's as if you have to let someone go or you had to okay based on what i'm seeing here i feel like somebody this person here was either someone that was very toxic for you or this relationship was toxic in itself like maybe you were even toxic for one another in a way like you as a person it's like this person couldn't handle being with someone like you or they couldn't handle you know their relationship in that way because it would just put them in the energy of stress um frustration burdens jealousy envy you know and it was quite clear that this couldn't go on because it wasn't working out and vice versa you know this person could have been causing you um burdens stress worry anxiety you know what i'm saying but i'm seeing here that you know whatever the relationship dynamic was between the two of you it was toxic and it was unrealistic heavy on unrealistic god is saying you will know why it was unrealistic specifically that because however way you guys were experiencing one another there was a level of it's like you and this person tried to be or rather you tried to be real and genuine when it comes to this person but experiencing them always led to like arguments misunderstandings that led to you know words being exchanged things being done assumptions that led to envy and jealousy uh enraged energy anger you know things that really really were negative i'm not picking up anything positive that came from this connection here it was like it was tiring from the start maybe at first it didn't seem like it would be but then the progression of the relationship it led to that point where you guys just got tired of it or you specifically got tired of this person but i'm seeing here that as much as that's the case this is somebody that is not 
accepting the fact that this is over, all right? I was called to look at the death at, to the world energy. I was called to look at both these energies reversed. And we spoke about, like, we established what that means, where it's like a never-ending relationship back and forth. Whatever the relationship dynamic is, it just never ends. It keeps going. Every cycle just, it never closes, right? This person thought it would be like that between you guys. They never thought this relationship would fully just end or this connection would fully just be put to some form of death energy, okay? This person really, really never expected that. They thought that at some point, like, you guys maybe would decide to just be friends or just, you know, and then from friends, it goes to friends with benefits, and then you guys get back together again, break up, make up again. Like, it's just, they thought it would be like that all the time with you. But I see here that you learned, you learned your lesson when it comes to this person here, all right? And you're not willing to stay, you are not willing to... Um, We have the moon reversed to the Six of Pentacles. This person, as much as they always thought that you and they would go back and forth with one another, when they realized that that was not the case, I feel like something in this person just shifted and it shifted significantly. It was the way in which they thought of things, the way in which they feel about things. Their spirit wasn't in the right place too. Like It just shifted a lot of things within this person. The fact that they were wrong about the vision they had of this relationship and where it would lead to. Because I'm, I'm getting like, this person always thought that like, you would never, you will never like cut them off like completely. You will never just completely block them out of your life. You know, they never saw that. They never envisioned you completely moving on with your life and leaving them out in the cold. All right. So that's what created this big shift within this person's mind, heart, and spirit. The fact that whatever they thought, they were wrong. Because you are walking away. I feel like you're not eager to look back. You're not keen to change your mind. Your feelings are still the same about how you feel about everything when it comes to this person. You just want to move on, man. All right? And nothing's going to change that um, perception. You are done with this person. We have, this is crazy, y'all. I'm seeing the High Priestess to the Two of Cups and the Hermit reversed. But I'm equal to take the Hermit upright. If you look at the High Priestess and the Hermit, right, these are the cards of secrecy and the hidden, all right? Anything hidden, anything kept a secret, anything that will never be known or seen, it's the High Priestess to the Hermit. And in the middle of both these energies, it's the Two of Cups, which is the energy of connection and relationships. So this person thought that you and them would, it would get to the point where even if you were to want to be with another person outside of them, because you, you, you tired of the back and forth, or you tired of this, that, and the third, they felt like even in the long run, years to come, they would be one of those relationships that, it's like they thought that you guys would get to the point where they are your secret. If you know what I'm saying, let's say you get into a relationship, right? A new one outside of this person. Because they always have the perception that, oh, this person will never cut me off. This person will never leave me out in the cold. This person will never fully move on and walk away and close this chapter for good and put in a death energy to this. All right? Because of what their perception was, to them it was like, Okay, even if this person were to have another person, I would always be the one they come back to, whether they, whether sleeping with them or just hanging out with them or engaging with them somehow. Like, they always thought that you and them would be in each other's lives. Yeah, that's it. They always thought that you and them would always be in each other's lives, no matter what, no matter who, all right? And even if it meant what? Being a secret. Like one of those toxic dynamics where you have someone and then there's this person on the side that you go to or you sleep with or you talk to, you know, 
Like they always thought they would have that place in your life. They would never really be just let go of like that. That's what has caused this big shift in them. Because you must imagine they were in this mindset like, oh, this is what's up or this is what's going on or this is what's to come. This is the vision I have of the relationship. And then abruptly you just decide to, you know what, move on. Or gradually you just remove yourself from this person's energy. And then it hit them. It dawned on them. Like, you know what? I thought I knew. You know, or I thought this would turn out like this. It's like this person wanted you guys to be in that energy of like, oh, they're a gift, dirty little secret. Or, you know what I'm saying? You are with your person and then like they shoot you a nude. And you're looking at the nude and you're hiding it from your person. They thought that you would include them as a third party. Every time, no matter who you're with, they'd always just be the one that they did all the time. That's what they thought, all right? They thought that the, they'd be your dirty little secret. Whether this is a feminine, whether this is a uh, masculine energy, okay? Masculine or feminine energy, please take it out, resonates, but this is what I'm seeing here, all right? If this is a masculine energy, they very, I feel like this masculine energy is losing their mind, going crazy about the fact that they will never experience you sexually again. And if it's a feminine energy, they losing their mind and going crazy about the fact that they'll never ever see you again. All right. We have the eight of swords. All right. This person is stuck on you, all right, with this energy. So they stuck on this energy between you guys. They stuck on the fact that they wish that things would have turned out differently. They still want to be with you. They still want to be in your energy. They still want to experience you, but they feel like you've deliberately cut them off and you're proving your point to them. Like somehow, however that resonates, but they just feel like, you know, you moving forward the way you are is you are kind of showing them how you truly feel without speaking it. You are showing it. You are moving logically. There is no emotion to this. You know, you're just doing what's best for you. It's not about them or what happened between you guys. Like to you, they feel like you don't care anymore. They really feel like you don't care at all anymore. And then they're stuck on it. All right. This person feels like if they were to come towards you and say something or do something, you know, towards you, they feel like they would get rejected here. Strong rejection. Because this person feels like they already wasted your time. They feel like they already missed out on an, on an opportunity with you. It's not, it wouldn't be wise to still try and be with you after that, after everything unfolded the way it did, they feel like you would literally, you get disrespectful, you know, type energy, like you would get disrespectful because like you moving on the way you have and cutting them off, they feel like you meant it, you know, you are basically showing them like, yo, I said what I said, I don't know what what's not clicking or I'm done. I, 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 can't you see? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's not clicking. And they're pushing your boundaries. They feel like you would get disrespectful in a way that you would completely put them to shame by showing them and sort of like putting them in a place in a way that they, they will never be able to recover from. So they think it's best that they just they leave you alone. But just know that this person... They in this energy, regardless of them trying to leave you alone, they still want to be with you. They still think that one day maybe you will want to reconnect. It's like, I'll always be here, you know, hit me up, or, you know, we can meet anywhere. Like, this is somebody that will always be desperate for your energy, but I feel like this is somebody that has low vibrational qualities about them and little high vibrational qualities about them. It's like, Small high vibrational qualities, but big low vibrational qualities. And it makes it hard for you to even think of reconnecting with someone like that. 
because you've put in so much work on yourself that you don't see yourself being with this person anymore. You don't even see yourself having any conversation, even sexual activity, like hell nah. I feel like you're in that image, you're like, no way. I worked on myself this much, and I gotta go back to that. I gotta back, go back to all that. Nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? This person feels like you're done, done. It shows. There's something about how it shows, like you're done. All right? You've learned your lesson, and you're done. Okay? I'm being called to end this message. This was your message from God. Ra, Allah. Source, the divine, I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed down in my description box below. Or you can join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.